and welcome to News Bits on Internet Television International, reaching you from our Abuja studios in Nigeria. Thanks for logging on. I am Oluchi Madu. Now, as the elections draw closer, most of our stories today are in that vein, as several politicians have begun to show their intentions of running for the office of the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria. We'll bring you details shortly. Top on the list is President Goodluck Jonathan, who has finally declared his intention to contest the presidential election in 2011 via a message on his Facebook page. Jonathan said he had finally decided to run for the presidency after wide consultations with various organizations ac across the country and that his formal declaration would hold in Abuja on Saturday. Jonathan described the period preceding his assumption of office as a trying moment for him in particular and the nation as a whole. The president said his task has always been to give the nation purposeful leadership and to focus on the priorities of his administration in order to maintain national peace and stability and pursue key development priorities. He also promised to carry Nigerians along and to listen to them before making decisions. While stating that he would not make promises, he asked to be judged by his records. Apart from announcing his decision on Facebook, the president also told members of the Federal Executive Council at their meeting on Wednesday. The Minister of Information and Communication, Professor Dara Akunili, also told journalists at the end of Wednesday's FEC meeting that Jonathan informed members of his intentions to vie for the presidency. The choice of Facebook as the medium of his announcements, which immediately attracted all the international news wires to the story, is an indication of the growing power of social media in governance. Former military president General Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida has publicly declared his intention to run in the 2011 presidential race. He made his declaration yesterday at Eagle Square, Abuja, to the admiration of his supporters. Our reporter Ogodaji Uge was there and now completes the story. 17 years after stepping aside, President Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida has come back with greater determination to rule the Federal Republic of Nigeria. His immediate family and different political groups rallied around him to show their unalloyed support to his cause. The former military president stated that he is particularly interested in the development of Nigeria. I have invariably maintained that I intend to participate significantly in our nation's politics and governance. He seized the opportunity to remind Nigerians of his previous achievements, promising to do more if given a chance. I believe strongly that in the midst of the present signals, there is hope for a foundational renewal. I'm certain that Nigerians have the capability to rise to the demand of rapid development and positive change under a competent, visionary, bold, fair, firm, honest, purpose-driven leadership. According to the National Executive Council of the People's Democratic Party, the primary elections will hold on October 23. 
On that day, we will know whether or not IBB will qualify. For ITI, I am Ogodadi Ugo. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, has pledged to support the Independent National Electoral Commission in its bid to conduct free and fair elections in 2011. The chairman of the National Working Committee of the Union made this pledge while paying a courtesy visit to the INEC chairman, Professor Atahiru Jega. Our correspondent, Sayadebumi, now reports. The Nigerian Labour Congress, who was led by its president, Comrade Abdul Wahid Omar, said, among other things, security remains a vital issue in the forthcoming 2011 general election. Comrade Omar said, NLC has already put wheels in motion by organizing voters' education and also mass mobilization of workers in order to arrange people about the electoral process. We are security because we believe lives of properties are also put on the line whenever elections you know, are around the corner. We will try to see how best we can contribute our own quota towards ensuring a heat free and well secured election in this country. And uh, of course we may also have a number of other suggestions or proposals we may render to the Commission and the leadership of the Commission as the need arises. While responding, Chairman of INEC, Professor Tyra Jigger said, NLC is regarded as one of the most credible stakeholders and will dialogue and work with them on issues bordering on the election, which they believe will add value to the overall outcome of the election. We as a Commission are determined to do our best to ensure the success of this assignment that has been placed in our hands. We have done quite a lot in terms of preparation uh, for both the voter registration exercise and the actual conduct of the elections come 2011. Obviously, as I have constantly repeated, the major constraint we have is that of time. And that time constraint really means that as much as we will do our best, we could do better if we had more time. The meeting, which lasted not more than 10 minutes, which had brokered into a closer session between the NLC and INEC officials. Reporting for Internet Television International, I am Shio Adebumi. The People's Democratic Party PDP presidential flag bearer in the 2011 elections will emerge at a special national convention on October 23rd. This was announced by the party after its emergency national executive committee meeting in Abuja yesterday. The national publicity secretary of the party, Ahmed Rufai Al-Khali, told journalists after the meeting that the party's candidates for the state houses of assembly will emerge on October 2nd, gubernatorial candidates on October 8th, House of Representatives candidates October 12th and senatorial candidates October 14th. He also listed the financial requirements of aspirants. Next approved the following nomination fees that must be paid by all aspirants as follows. Presidential, expression of interest, 1 million. Nomination forms, 10 million. Gubernatorial, expression of interest, 500,000. Nomination fees, 5 million. Senatorial position, and expression of interest, 200. The nomination, 2 million. House of Representatives, expression of interest, 100. Nomination, 1 million. House of Assembly, expression of interest, 100,000. Nomination, 500,000. All female aspirants, however, are exempted from paying nomination fees but they are expected to pay the expression of interest fees at every level. The PDP spokesperson also announced the modalities for picking the candidates at the various congresses and conventions and those that are qualified to be nominated as delegates to them. Waivers were granted to former Vice President Abubakar Atiku and 15 others. So far, there are four presidential aspirants on the platform of the PDP, including the incumbent president, Good Luck Jonathan, former military president Ibrahim Babangida, former vice president Atiku Abubakar, and Sarah Jibril, who is the only female aspirant. 
President Goodluck Jonathan was represented during the meeting by Vice President Namadi Sambo, who said the President traveled to Sokoto State following the floods that ravaged the state. And with that, we've come to the end of News Bits for today. My name is Oluchimadu. Thank you.